Hi guys, Chris and PJ here live in the Dream Giveaway Garage. Hello, Christopher. It's Hello, a beautiful PJ. day, Monday. Beautiful day, you have a good weekend, PJ? Uh, it was a great weekend. We hope everybody out there had a great weekend as well. Yeah, absolutely. You watch the rocket launch? I did not see any rocket launches this weekend. Oh, okay. Just yeah. enjoyed the beautiful Florida weather. Guys, that's one of the things uh, that's a treat down here in Florida. Every once in a while, even all the way on the other coast, you, you can see the rocket launch. So there you have it. Hey, speaking of rockets launching, look what I've got over <laughs> here, PJ. You like that? That's a good one. <laughs> 1964 Corvette Stingray. C2. Yeah. Notice the split bumpers on the C2 that are similar on the, the 70. Corvette that are next to it. We talked before about those split bumpers really being borrowed from the Ferrari 250 GT, right? You mean the Camaro, right? The split yeah. on the Camaro? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. correct. Both of these were, were, that bumper style was inspired by the Ferrari 250 GT. Chris, this is a really big split. That's bumper. a really big split there. It's much smaller here, right? That's right. What a great car. Eight days left to enter the win. And the Oklahoma, nobody says looks great with that hard top on there. Everybody thinks so? You know, yeah, Oklahoma, at, nobody does. Yeah. Yeah. That, no, it looks fantastic. So we're going to have fun today uh, with a little bit of uh, Corvette uh, history. Of course, the 64 is the second year of the C2. If you got a 63 convertible with a hard top, it looked pretty darn close to the 64 with a hard top. With that split window? Well, not on the convertible with the hard top. Oh, that's hard right. Top, only on the hard top coupe. So the, by, on 64, oh, they got so much. I'm showing like where it is, but this isn't a hard top car, even though you see a hard top. It's the auxiliary hard top. They got so much pushback. On the visibility and other issues with that split window that and 63 they had. right and 63 only correct right so by 64 they're they're really starting to understand that that corvettes are that corvettes could be raced and that corvette would have a racing uh, not a lineage uh, a racing destiny how's that right so in 1964, you could start to order on, on the Corvette. You could in 63 uh, as well. But in 64, you could get that big tank. You could get those knockoff wheels, right? But not the side pipes, like 65. No, you could get side pipes in 64. Oh, okay. Sure you could. So uh, there's an advertisement that I'm going to have PJ show you, and it might show up a little bit small on your screen, but look for it on the web, and there's a line on that advertisement that, that says, well, we don't build the cars, what is it? We build the people for the cars, something like that. And that means that you can get a Corvette any way that you want it. It's not like a Model T, right? Ah, just build them, they'll buy them. On a Corvette, especially in, in 64, you could start to order it any way you wanted. If you're going racing, you could get the big tank. If you wanted the turbine wheels, you could get those, uh, so on and so forth. And that continued until they started all this sort of package group nonsense in the 80s, where in which all the cars started to look the same. Remember when you can order a car and it looked like nobody else's car because you hand checked every single option that you wanted right that's right i think they were cooler days so you want to see these see what oh yeah let's let's show the first one and that's going to be that one and the headline there is we make very few corvettes like this and look at that you can see the knockoff wheels like you see on this one that is an ad from 1964 and that's why i chose it and if you guys get a chance to find that ad online then read it because that really talks about corvette's raced, racing destiny as i mentioned let's show ad number two pj there you go headline on that one some people like this convertible better than the coupe well you know why i'm showing you that because you know we're giving away the convertible with the auxiliary hardtop 
Now, if you look at that particular one, you'll see that it does not have the turbine wheels, right? Nope. But oh, oh, so cool. And one more for, for you guys to enjoy. Ah, in color, in living color, look at that. Uh, if this doesn't satisfy your yen for adventure, try painting into Tahiti. <laughs> I, I don't get the reference, but that's okay. Uh, so anyways, so there are some classic Corvette ads from 1964 for you all to comment on and to enjoy which one is your favorite. And eight days left. PJ, I put the mirror there, or somebody put the mirror there so that we can show how clean it is underneath. Well, you let me get you to a get spot a here where we can kind of get in there. Can you get in there and get a good shot? There you it's go. Kind of a sideways view. Oh, that's but... looking good, PJ. Yeah, it is pretty clean under there. All right. Ha! Huh. This one, clean as a missile. Oh, <laughs> you boy. like that? Very clean good. Clean as a missile. I come up with these just for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who's out there, PJ? Uh, TJ says she's a beauty. Yeah, it really is. Uh, Jen said that vet is really a beauty. Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, Robert Moore says, I'm going to fill the tank of the 70 F100. <laughs> that one is being drawn on uh, June, June 1st. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and of course, if you're going to fill the tank up, Roger says frequently. <laughs> there. <laughs> on that one. there you go. Passes everything but the gas station, right, Roger? Larry West loves your shirt, Chris. Oh, thank you so much. I've got my official Hellcat shirt on. Hopefully, some of you guys entered the Hellcat giveaway and took advantage of our our Hellcat t-shirt promo offer that happened a few weeks ago here. Now Mike Brown says driving that vet will look be look will be like wearing a tuxedo. And honestly, I think in the movie Batman yeah. Returns, I think the more recent one. Right, right. Bruce Wayne is Passes in 64, in this right? Exact, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The hard absolutely. top and all. Very cool. Now this has this incredible silver interior. Yeah. And I just love looking sure at that. Sure does. So Why that, don't you show that off real so quick? So we've got the right? black the black exterior and then the silver interior with amazing all of these dials and uh, man that looks so good PJ. and you're saying it's just like the aviation setup it is it kind of brought in that kind well, of well that's because both harley earl and bill mitchell were fans of aviation well thank god we don't have switches and di dials all over the cockpit <laughs> like <laughs> the c way. like the new c8 <laughs> well like the 787 or 747. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, you know, they they were probably talking more about Cessnas and <laughs> that sort of stuff That's true. Uh, back in the day. And guys, you remember where the gas cap is, don't you? She, uh, Chevy did a great job at styling that. You've got the emblem here. Yeah, but who really wants to pour gas into their into trunk? Into the middle of this <laughs> section. And then. Hey, I didn't design it. It's where it Wouldn't is. it drip all over the place? I mean, you need a yeah. rag, right? Yeah, I mean, that's why they have paper towels at the, <laughs> at the gas station, right? Or that's why they had full service at 34 cents a gallon. There you go. Right? I guess you really didn't care too much about the. Uh, horsepower and the fuel consumption when price not at 34 cents a gallon that was a tap that was never going to get turned off right <laughs> there you go all right fuel injection right here on the side horsepower so, on this 375 and as that first advertisement that vintage ad that i showed you points out a 375 fuelie is not for everybody right but it is for some people and these days, it can be for you. So you get your entries, you use promo code YouTube, promo code Facebook Live at dreamgiveaway.com. Eight days from now, at midnight, someone's gonna have a lucky ticket. That's I don't right. know who. Eric says the gas cap didn't move to the side until the C5 in 97. Yeah. Wow, that's a long time. Wow. Yeah, even the C4 had it there, huh? Okay. That is crazy. Crazy. Yeah, C5, they moved on over. And so I want to ask a question. Do you, do you guys think the E-Ray is a good idea? Having an electronic? Having uh, a all... hybrid electric and gasoline powered Corvette. And let me explain to you how they have it. It still has a V8, but it's all wheel drive. So two of the wheels are being powered from the V8. Two of the wheels are being powered from an electric motor. 
a battery-powered electric motor. That's why it's a hybrid. Supposed to be super, super quick. It's going to be out next year. You guys think that's a good idea? What are your What are your thoughts? So Corvette's putting that out in hybrid. Correct. Yeah, there'll be a hybrid performance Corvette called the E-Ray uh, that'll be out later this year or next year. Oh my God, that must be a high horsepower performance. Yeah, I think it's 600 some horsepower. So just asking, see what you guys' thoughts are. So because this this week though, we will fire this thing up at some point. Yes, I'm out on Friday for the weekend. So on Wednesday or Thursday, we'll Perfect. fire this up so that you guys can hear it. Yeah, because there's only eight days left, Chris. Only eight days left. You got to get your entries to win. Anybody else got any comments for me this morning? Well, Eric said this he, had afternoon. A, he had a C4 <laughs> and his uh, gas tank was in the back. So, yeah. Okay. Very good. Thanks for confirming that. Oh, PJ, uh, we were talking about this earlier. The folks who won the Indy Camaros. They're, they're both, and their guests are going to be over at the Indy 500 this weekend, courtesy of Dream Giveaway. Yep, I found out uh, about 20 minutes before our, we went live today that everybody's good to go and yes. looking, looking uh, happy as can be out there in Indy for the 500. That's good. Hopefully they'll enjoy the race and that it's a safe race without any, uh, without any drama. The Omaha, nobody says the E-Ray is better for a daily driver, yet the Z06 would be better for sound. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Here's another question for you guys. So, you know, the new Corvette that we're giving away is a mid-engine Corvette, but a whole lot of folks still like that C7, like the Z06 C7 and the uh, ZR1 C7. What do you guys think about that? Uh, the Oklahoma, nobody says, did the Vetworks uh, group guys look this one over and give it a special touch? Absolutely did. Yep. yep yeah, we had Joey looking at this the other day as well. And if you saw, I'm sure you saw the video of those C2s over at Sergio's shop, and he knows what he's doing over there. Yep. So before we give this away, it will have a clean bill of health from Sergio at Vetworks. Yep. It's been over there, and he's, he's amazing. That's right. What else, PJ? And then um, Eric says, I think the E-Ray will be cool. Uh, but not looking forward to a Corvette SUV. Ah, mm, yes, yes, yes. Good call. That's, yeah. Maybe they should call that SUV the Camaro. I don't think anybody would shed a tear. <laughs> now, <laughs> Eric says his C8, or any I'm C8, kidding. looks better than a C8. The C7 looks better than the C8. Yeah. Would, you, would you agree that What's the that? C7 looks better than the C8? There's not Personally, really a ton of difference, is there? I like the C7 look better than the C8, yeah. but that's me. Don't call the SUV a Trans Am or I'm going to get angry. <laughs> you hear me, GM? <laughs> yeah, you'll never like that. <laughs> there you go. Well, guys, it's going to be a fun week here. Lots of stuff to show you. And PJ, I noticed over here, scroll on over here next to the oh, F100. Crazy. You see the helmet on top of the Hellcat? That goes for the winner as well. You know, I noticed that right before we went live, yep. Chris, when I walked out here. I said there's a helmet sitting on top of this Hellcat. That's right. And that's why a, is that, Chris? Well, that's autographed by Big Daddy Don Garlitz and the Queen of Speed, Leah Pruitt. And whoever wins the Hellcat will win that helmet. Oh, that's right. Big Daddy signed this. Big Daddy. And honestly, I have a video of him signing this. I was there when he signed this over at the Gator Nats uh, this year. And cool. then you're saying the other side is signed by Leah Pruitt, right? Other I'm, sign is si uh, signed by Leah, I absolutely. think right before she went down the yeah. track as well. well. I'll just take a quick shot of that so you can yep. actually see that. So whoever wins this Hellcat gets Big Daddy and Leah Pruitt's yep. signed helmet. You know, that might just be the ultimate collector's item, PJ. And not the Hellcat. <laughs> Maybe they're both a great collector's item. <laughs> there, there you go. By the way, we heard from the winner of the Hellcat X from way back in 2015, and he's doing great. He's still got it. He's having a blast uh, blasting in the car, right? Yeah, he's doing great. He loves that uh, Hellcat X. That's good. That was a 2015 giveaway 2015 that we did. giveaway, yeah. way back when. Hard to believe we're coming up eight years on that. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with more fun, more action, more great grand prizes in our favorite place on earth, the Dream Giveaway Garage for DreamGiveaway.com. See you tomorrow. See you next time, everybody.